Alright folks, so we've got our uh, Z370 motherboard here Gigabyte uh, Z370 HD3 if I remember correctly and uh, we're going to update the BIOS so uh, let's get it done Alright, so there is uh, our current BIOS it is the F8 BIOS date was July 5th 2018 so we're looking at uh, almost 13 months ago and uh, we actually currently have a 9th gen chip in here which you may have seen from my other video that it does work but uh, there's uh, been a lot of things that have happened between now and then so let us uh, go ahead and update this BIOS so go to whatever search engine you use Type in Gigabyte Z370 HD3. Should show up in the first few results. We want one that will link you to gigabyte.com and not some other website. So there you see this one, the Z370 HD3. We're going to click on it, and then you should see support over here. Scroll down and look for BIOS. Now you see all the different BIOS. It starts... Uh, this one starts at F3. Um, sometimes they're F1. For whatever reason, this is F3. But uh, as you scroll up, you see different information, things they've done. You'll see F8, which is what we currently have installed. And then F9 is the first one where they really mention the 9th gen uh, processors. And some more support for 9th gen. So realistically this this computer probably at least needs the f10 or f11 um, but then there's also more compatibility with future night gen so we definitely want that so we're gonna grab the latest BIOS f12 and click on America there to download then down below it will ask you if you want to open it save it we want to do a save as and I've got a thumb drive inserted and that's what you need to uh, save this to uh, whether you do it now or later but uh, you definitely need to save it to a thumb drive and then it is now uh, downloading it it's finished we're going to open the folder and what you want to do now it's a very important step do an extract all and there you go so the computer will use this information I'm gonna go back and delete out the zip file so I don't need that anymore now from here you're going to um, take this and plug it in your computer and depending on whether you already have a hard drive and all that other stuff set up you may need to use the either the USBs on the motherboard or uh, the ones in the front may work but uh, sometimes you have to use the ones on the motherboard. All right, so we put our thumb drive in, the USB, and apologize for the reflection. Uh, what we want to do now is go down to the bottom of the screen. You'll see a Q flash right there. We're going to click on that. There you go. So it recognized the USB. So keep that in mind in case you do not have, um, you actually don't have a hard drive installed uh, that has the uh, the drivers already. That you may have to use the USBs on the motherboard, not on the front panel. So we're going to go to update BIOS. And we're going to click on this folder here, then click on that file, and then we're going to go over here, click here. So, it appears I was zoomed in too far. There was a, a button over to the right that I clicked, as you can see where the mouse currently is. So while that's going, you see over here in this portion, 
it tells you uh, the current version, model name. That'll update in a bit. So it's going to reboot. And then this is where I need to pull out my thumb drive. All right, so we're getting into the BIOS again, and we're gonna go down here to the bottom, just so you can see it. We're gonna click on easy mode, and now you'll see that we have BIOS version F12. This is an indeed an i3-9100F, and it appears that uh, at least to be running and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put a hard drive in this thing and make sure everything's good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.